I'm the sports professor, Rick Carl, with the inside story on Bounty Gate, why it happened and what it means. Roger Goodell sent a very strong statement for a number of reasons. Number one, probably more important than anything else, respect for league rules, important or otherwise. His opinion after his press statement talked about three years of cover-up and hundreds of pages, even thousands, of reports that gave away the cover-up, and those that knew and should have known, including Sean Payton, were swept away in its wake. Number two, the crusade against sports violence. Always been an issue of where you draw the excessive versus excessive line whenever an athlete steps on the field. It's magnified in a high-risk, high-violence game as football, but the clear issue always was, how do you know intent? This is a living, breathing example of intent, something that Roger Goodell wouldn't tolerate. Third, and maybe even more important, the legal issues to the owners and the league of what they do when they know about a situation. Hundreds of lawsuit potential litigants out there waiting to see what could happen if the next player is injured and the league knew something and didn't know do, do something about it. This is the answer to that. Now, what does it mean to the Saints? Well, according to the latest Forbes article on relative valuation of teams, the Saints are worth nearly a billion dollars with revenues of nearly 270 million and a profit of nearly 30 million. There is a real estate development done next to the Louisiana Superdome. As important, this team was almost, as you remember, the San Antonio Saints, saved from the brink with a long-term lease and a $340 million Superdome renovation. What happens to the long-term fan support from that? Let's remember also, not only this year's Final Four, but next year's Super Bowl in New Orleans, helping the post-Katrina recovery through sports. All of that not in jeopardy, but may be affected long-term if the Saints' fortunes head south in the NFC South. A lot to ponder, a lot to predict. For FoxSports.com, I'm Rick Harrell.